Hi there, I'm Christian and this is my new iPhone app called Synths. Uh, this is the first app to control music and non-generative visuals on your iPhone or iPod and even on the iPad it works. So uh, here we go. Um, there are three different sets or songs you can choose. So uh, let's start with Paris. And it says headphones recommended for better sound quality and some stereo effect. So it's better to use them. Um, okay, here we are in the video mode. This is a show grid button. So whenever you touch there, you can see the whole grid. And that shows you some invisible buttons on the screen. So if you touch a specific region, um, you can hear and see for sure that, that instrument. So let's start with the bass drum. You can stop it here again. Okay, yeah, this is how it works, just for playing around. But um, if you really want to arrange a whole song, you just rotate your device to the landscape button right. So let's do that. And here you can see the sequencer mode, which is controlled the same way. For example, yeah, all the instruments. And um, but you can flip back anytime if you want. Um, and if you really want to compose a whole arrangement, you have to deactivate the loop button. You can see here, and because now the gray locator only plays that one bar, but if you press here, it plays the whole arrangement for you. Um, okay, here you can pause it and play it again from that part but if you press the stop button the locator jumps to the beginning or if you keep one finger on the stop button and touch somewhere in the arrangement the locator jumps there and yeah of course you can swipe through the arrangement um, okay let's go to the setup um, here you can change some settings I will talk about that later but first of all, I'll show you another set. So let's select Fluid. Every time you want to confirm changing the setup changes, um, you press the back button. So now it's loading. So if you ever have problems with the app, please close all the multitasking apps in the background to free some memory for Synths. You should even close Synths completely and start it again if it crashes, <coughs> because it uses a lot of memory for the visuals. So again, the grid, um, but here every instrument is a full screen video, not a small part um, like Harris. I show you. Let's start with bass drum again.
Okay. So again, we have a sequencer with visual icons for each instrument. Um, everything is the same like the other set. So let's go to the settings. Um, here you can save your arrangement if you want. So here we are and you also can clear it. So you can start a new one. And if you press the load button, here we are again. Um, this is obviously the slider to change the number of bars of your arrangement. So let's make it 16 bars and it's a little bit smaller. And here you can deselect the live touch button. So if you've got an arrangement you want to play. Okay. And you just want to play the um, arrangement. It doesn't take any effect on it. Okay. Stop it. Yes, and the last button is the shake mode. Um, here you switch to the sequencer mode, but you have to shake it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's all the set. Um, the last set you can try out on your own, just to mention that uh, this is a portrait mode set, which means um, everything is the same, but it's in portrait. Just rotate it. And okay, so I hope you'll enjoy it. And I definitely appreciate some feedback on the app and uh, the visual music set. So thank you.